Hello, 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 and welcome to Oli Iceman Gaming. I am Oli, back with some more Red Dead Redemption 2, and if you watched my last video, I think I'm about to on my way to go and kill Dutch. I think. So we found out that Micah is the one who's been talking to the police and telling them the locations and shit. Can't believe my horse died. Shit, I'm getting low on ammo. So yeah, my horse died, Barry. Barry White, my Arabian White, super rare horse. Yeah. Killed. Which is devastating. It's got all my weapons on him as well. Worn bolt action rifle. Nah, fuck it. Pistols will be fine. And they burr. We know where Dutch's money's been hidden. Abigail told us where it was hidden. She gave us the key to go and get it. So, that's what I'm doing right now. Fight my way back to go and get that pee. Micah's the rat, Dutch. I'm definitely killing Micah, that's... Oh, it's a log. <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely killing Dutch. That's the, uh, Micah, sorry. That is without a shadow of a doubt going to happen. Micah's basically, I think I said this already, Micah snitched out everyone, the whole gang, to the police. He's been the arsehole this whole time. Boom, boom. Oh, camp's on fire. Mike's going down, man. Turn weak, Dutch. Into the cave. Into the cave. Right, where did she say it was? It was underneath a wagon. Go down a level. Oh no, I've got a marker. Nah, what a twat. There it is. Oh, wee, that's a big old bag of cash. Forty two grand. Forty two grand. Fucking yes, mate. <laughs> Run away. Where's Mike and Dutch though? That's the question. <laughs> uh oh. Some 
unfinished business. Come on in, bitch. You fail. Nope. Definitely didn't fail. You weak fool. I've waited a long time to kill you. I think so, dear. After all he's done for you. I should have killed you long ago. Oh, crazy knife fight. Oh, double attack. You weak fool. Definitely not weak, man. You're gonna get fucked up. I'm a survivor. Get the fuck off, Khan. Living and dying. <laughs> You're dying. <sighs> so what's happening? Goddamn snake. Oh, yes, have it. Have it. You oh. betrayed us. I came to take what's mine, you rat. I ain't no rat, black you lung. You are my cat. You are the rat. Not Molly Dutch. It's him. Him. Kill him. Not Molly. Not Miss Grimshaw. Not even cold. <laughs> You're dying, black lung. And you've gone crazy. Let him damn us all, Dutch. <laughs> Come on, Dutch. Gotta go. Dutch. Let's go. I never lost that fight. I stabbed him twice in the kidneys. I never... Dutch! Well, I must say, Arthur, <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. No.
God damn it. <laughs> I fucking liked Arthur. Should I have gone with John? Fuck. was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and yeah, shot him. Get the place, like he John. deserved shoot. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. You gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should have just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in... in strawberry. What do you know about strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good. I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes in books? My reading's getting pretty good. Well, read different books then. The books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. Boy. Sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence on your mother. With your books. Which books was that? You know, that dime novel or Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material off. Is that what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much anymore. I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. Definitely like King Arthur. I bet that sign says strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Been a long time. Why don't you pull up just here? All right. Block the bridge off. Go Sounds good. Kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but, uh... You're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. As long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Yeah, my wife and I and our boy, we was robbed a mm. few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Uh, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, tell me about Got a it. wagon by any chance? Uh, sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if it, you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, 
You know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. No, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. Thank you, sir. This is interesting. I wonder how this is going to end. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? Well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. Well, what do you suggest now? I'll stay here. Get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. I want Arthur back. I miss him. You got a problem? We loaded her up pretty good, Milton. Good. Now you ride slow now. Gettys don't want his goods damaged. Of course. All right. See in a bit. How far is it? If you can actually break free in that fight. Okay. Jamming B though, as hard as I can, and I've got quick fucking thumbs and fingers for doing that shit. Man, it going way too fast there, boys. You saw me, like, anyone who watches this, you saw it, like, I sliced him about 10, 12 times, I jabbed him twice in the kidneys, <laughs> everything. I'll have to Google it after I finish this video, see if you can actually kill Micah. like the epilogue now then the uh, two epilogue missions what the fuck is going on you're supposed to follow the road cinematic road Fucking jesus Time, effort, and money spent getting all that stuff. Oh, surely they're not going to make you have no money again. I've spent thousands on gun. That is funny though. That all these people that are like, huh, do the gold glitch, do the gold glitch, and they got fucking 120, 200 thousand dollars on this. It's going to all get taken away from them. It's like Rockstar knew and they put it in there. Knowing that everyone was going to have all their money taken off. Now we go north. The last you see the Dutch though, that's the thing. I didn't get to kill Micah for fuck's sake. 
can't remember if he appeared in the last game. I think he might have done actually. Who knows? Do I have any weapons? No, literally no weapons either. Not even a single pistol. This must be it. No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands, it's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We'll all work. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey. Mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh. <laughs> When's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh. These supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> 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 Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here! I'll get him back, don't you worry. Go easy on We can't have trouble here. That's my damn wagon! It's a fucking big old shy horse this is. Oh no, nah, wrong button. Fuck. <laughs> For Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got. We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. You seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. What does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just... Please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But, we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. Things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. Thanks.
John being all farmer like. Black water and tumbleweed. Oh shit, black water is fucking good to go to now. No more wanted dead or alive. Got this whole area down here still to explore. So I'm assuming that's where this is probably going to push us. Oh man, this is cool. Albert Mason, yeah, the photographer. I haven't finished it. I'm going to have to go back with John and be like, hey man, you can be like, where the fuck is Arthur? And if I go back to here, is John's body going to be here? That's what I want to know. Do you know what? I'm so intrigued as to whether that is actually going to be there or not that I'm going to go back there despite the massive long journey that it is. So I'm going to leave that one there. Thank you for anyone who did watch. I'll be back with another video very soon. Um, I'll probably can try and do the epilogue part one and part two as separate videos. So uh, yeah, we're nearly done. And I'm just going to figure out if I can actually get any money because right now $11.16, that's uh, it's not really the best. But yeah, right. Thank you, people. Goodbye now. Goodbye. 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 Good. Bye.